Hi, my name is Robert Montgomery, and we're coming to you today from Harrison Hills Golf and Country Club in Attica, Indiana, and we're going to share a few things with you today about how to hit a golf ball. So what we're going to talk about today is the few things that we need to do in the golf swing in order to strike the ball successfully, and really there's only a few. Okay. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we control the low point of the golf club, which means we want to be able to take this thing back and come down and trap the ball. We want our hands leading, okay, and we want the club moving down, and we want the club to bottom out in front of where the ball is located by roughly three to four inches. Okay, the second thing we want to do, if we could look at an overhead view, is we want the club to work on a path that comes inside, comes back down inside back around to the ball, and then back to the inside, okay? The last thing we need to do is we need to make sure we control the face. Controlling the face is going to give the ball its starting direction, and then the combination of the face relative to the path is going to give the ball its shot shape. And if you can control those few things well, you're going to hit very good golf shots. So today's lesson is going to be based on controlling the low point, and there's a couple variables that go into controlling the low point, okay? first thing we got to do to control the low point is we'll make sure we, we control the location of our weight. And one of the things that I see lots of golfers do is when we're setting up the ball, everything looks great. And then as soon as we start to take this club back, we've been told we got to shift our weight off the ball. And so I see this move here where the right hip slides out. Okay. And we get back over here, we get to the top and when we come back down, we never get back over to our left side. Modern science today with force plate technology, some of those things, tells us that your average tour player gets roughly 90% of the weight on the left foot. So as soon as you move this hip here and get the weight of this right foot, we can no longer get our low point back in front of the ball. That's one thing. So what we need to do instead is rotate and get to this position here. Second thing we need to do is we got to make sure on the way down that we rotate through the shot to, port, to, to push our hands in front of the ball. So the combination of getting our weight over here to the left side with this rotation of the body coming down is going to put our hands in front of the ball and give us a low point in front of the ball. There's a couple drills you can do to help learn uh, low point control. First of which I'm going to demonstrate here today using one of these impact bags. It'll cost you maybe 20 or $30. They're not very much. Okay. And what you want to do with these things is you don't just want to hit the bag like I see a lot of golfers do. I watch golfers do this and they'll just set the bag up and they'll do things like this and they're not really getting their body involved. They're not doing things right. They just hit the bag because they think that's going to help their golf swing. What you want to do when you're working on this with the impact bag is you want to make sure you take the thing back just about waist high. You don't have to make a hard swing. Okay. And then from right here, you want to make sure you rotate the body like we talked about. Okay, this is going to help you learn the proper body motion, the downswing. The second one, which you'll see here, filmed in a different location, of course, is you want to put your head against the wall. Okay, and when you put your head against the wall, what you're going to do is you're going to get into your stance, put your forehead against the wall, fold your arms over the shoulders, and just practice rotating. And you'll see when I do this that I'm not sliding this way and I'm not moving off the ball. I'm staying very, very centered in my stance to help me control the low point. So the combination of these two drills is going to help you learn how to make a good rotation in your backswing. This might also help some of you that don't turn very well, help you gain some distance you don't have. We're going to rotate and then combine that with our rotation downswing hitting the impact bag. You should be able to get to your left side, strike down on the ball, and hit nice crisp shots all day long.